e-learning studio hello kids welcome back in today's video we will learn about properties of addition kids in today's video we will learn three properties of addition first is order property second is grouping property and the last one is zero property so let's start with our first property which is order property kids in this property the sum doesn't change even if we change the order of the numbers let's take an example to understand this order property we have 15 plus 3 in this example and we know 15 and 3 are the addends so in the order property we are going to only change the order of the attendance in short 15 plus 3 is equals to 3 plus 15 here we change the orders of our numbers and 15 plus 3 or 3 plus 15 will give you the same sum which is 18 kids the second example we have 3 plus 4 plus 5 and we know that 3 4 5 is attendance so in the order property we are going to only change the order of the attendance so we are going to change orders of the attendance 4 plus 5 plus 3 and 3 plus 4 plus 5 or 4 plus 5 plus 3 will give you the same sum which is 12 kids our next property is grouping property in addition in this property changing the grouping of attendance does not change the sum and it is only property that has a parenthesis let's take an example to understand this addition property so in this example we have 10 plus parenthesis 3 plus 5 parenthesis and we all know that 10 3 and 5 are attendants children we can group the last two numbers and add their sum to the first number or we can group either the first two numbers and add their sum to the third number as you can see on the screen in both cases kids the total sum will remain the same which is 18 kids let's move to our next property which is zero property kids when we say the zero property in addition it tells us if zero is added to any number the sum is the number itself Let's take this example as you can see on screen. Fifteen plus zero is equal to fifteen. So kids, when we add zero in any number, like example fifteen plus zero, the answer will be fifteen. Or zero plus twenty-five is equal to twenty-five. So when we add zero in twenty-five, the sum is also twenty-five. Now kids. try to identify the properties of addition used for the following number first we have 45 plus 0 is equal to 45 what do you think which property is used here yes if you say zero property then kids you are absolutely correct well done because we add 0 in 45 Next, one we have eighteen plus forty-five is equal to forty-five plus eighteen. What do you think? Which property is used here, kids? You say order property of addition. Then you are absolutely correct. Very good, kids. Because we change here the order of the attendance. Third one. Is parenthesis four plus eight parenthesis plus ten is equal to four plus 
parenthesis 8 plus 10 parenthesis. What do you think? Which property is used there? Yes, if you say grouping property of addition, then kids, you are absolutely correct. Well done, because it is the only property that has a parenthesis. Thank you. Happy learning.